and collaborated to equip the Ukrainian Air Force's outdated fighter jets with advanced American weaponry. In September 20, 22, the Ukrainian Air Force caught the world's attention by disclosing that they were utilizing AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles produced in the U.S. These missiles were launched from MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters to target Russian air defense radars, allowing Ukrainian aircraft to operate with a degree of safety in a perilous battlefront. Last December, the U.S. government announced that it would supply Ukraine with the precision-guided weapons, known as Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAM, which were intended to grant Ukraine a rapid and effortless means of carrying out precision-guided aerial bombing missions with the aid of GPS satellite signals. Politico reports that after four months have passed, the U.S. government is now of the opinion that the bombs are being impacted by Russian efforts to jam their guidance systems. The JDAM is a prime illustration of enhancing older, less advanced weapons through modern technology. It is a package that incorporates a GPS receiver, a computer processor, and controllable fins for bombs.